don't participate in your own oppression. Straw clips in uh, them little clear, uh, little clear bottles of spice vape juice are going around my town at the moment. I took a few talks of my friends to try it, and it was uh, a f- effing amazing how I can see why it's so destructive. But there you go, guys. Be warned. There's uh, vape juices going around the place. Uh, laced up with the old spice. Um, Miss Stowe is saying, when taking shrooms or LSD, you should really be outdoors, ideally with good weather, as the setting of mindset at the time has a big influence. Yeah, that, that's very true. I have uh, would recommend to the outdoors for the mushrooms during the daytime as well as great. And to do it with some good friends is even better. And we cycled out to uh, the woods and passaged west. Uh, we took the mushrooms. Uh, we ate the mushrooms just by the the lake down by uh, Parky Cueve. And uh, we cycled then from there out along the old uh, railway tracks. And uh, we ended up in passage just as we came up on the, the mushrooms. And uh, we went into the woods and had an amazing day. <laughs> that was about five years ago with uh, all the old uh, fellow horrible scientists. <laughs> um, other comments, what's happening, man? Falls, yes, free the weed. <laughs> and Hebsy girl, uh, I dealt weed to friends for a while and even the guys liked buying from a woman said it wasn't as intimidating. Well, there you go. Like, even the guys actually feel intimidated buying cannabis from guys. So, like, imagine like uh, how it must feel then for many women out there who would be uh, just incredibly intimidated just by the, the presence of uh, of a male and then having to get it from an, a male who's a criminal, I suppose, a drug dealer. Like, you know, it must be, uh, must be awful. WRT Gunner saying, when I was in the, when I was in the last year of uh, school, some of us did a three-week tester course with the a- army. Let's just say it, not the right place to take magic mushrooms. <laughs> um, cocaine and speed, uh, shite, MDMA and psychedelics and cannabis, my favourites. Uh, that's DB Woodcraft. Yeah, I think, um, we would be in the same boat there as well. I don't think the stimulant drugs uh, are really for me. And while MDMA could sometimes be seen maybe as a stimulant, I think that's because sometimes it gets mixed with speed uh, in the pill form and ecstasy. Um, but yeah, there's certainly a bit of a buzz there to that. Uh, but it's class. <laughs> Again, MDMA, it's been fucking the last time I done that was at Boomtown in 2016 over five years ago and uh, that that was an incredible night to remember like you were sitting around um in the middle of the night uh, at a blazing fire um surrounded by many many strangers just talking and sharing like just nothing but love <laughs> and the amaze bloody great like in, in 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 the right setting you know um and and luckily enough like that we didn't get ripped off and we got good quality in the amaze and uh yeah it was a good time <laughs> Um, yeah, Hype TK is saying they, they put you in a K-hole during therapy. Yeah, uh, that, that, that's pretty much what I heard as well. K-hole's the goal. <laughs> Just make sure your friends are somebody you can trust, like, because you're sitting there with, like, T-Rex arms, you know, all locked up. You're all fucking dissociated and shit like that. Like, you don't want to be with somebody who's going to fucking shave her eyebrows and draw a bloody load of drawings in your face or something like that you know what i mean um so it's good to you know to have good friends um db craft yeah martin well done on the planting in cork i think i used to walk around that area with my granny when growing up <laughs> nice i'm gonna be taking a walk down that way there shortly with the dogs actually so i'll uh i'll see if i can pop an old live video up or something like that or get some photos and updates in I'll be taking an old bottle of plant feed down with me as well, just to kind of help them kind of keep their little vigorousness going. (laughs) Um, And a legend there as well, Irish Hemp Harvest, for getting in an old um, super chat there. And uh, to DB Woodcraft, or sorry, to uh, Podge85 and to Mistawes as well. Um, Mistawes saying, a great old show today. And Podge getting in the hashtags there as well. Hashtag Feed the Birds and hashtag Cannabis Reform Ireland. And Irish Hemp Harvest adding in there to the conversation as well to keep up the great work, Martin. Um, I will indeed. Thanks very much, guys, for your support. And to everybody else who's after staying tuned in as well, guys, we're just coming up over on an hour and a half. And I'm amazed I can keep like such an audience as well, you know. Um, the shows would be much shorter as well if I didn't have such an audience. Um, so thanks very much, guys, for... Uh, 
for that you know you give you keep me coming back for more as well like so uh, I, I really enjoy this interaction afterwards uh and I, I enjoy doing the research as well I, I used to always be reading these news articles anyway in the past you know um so i just was taking something i was doing anyway i was just putting it out there to see what, what came back at me and what came back at me guys i have to say like i'm, I'm blown away by it thanks very much um a great community out there uh, supporting the show as always um a shy son has uh, scattered a million hemp seeds in the past few weeks can't wait to see the city in a month or two Good man, shy son. That, that's an achievement and a half, like, um, a million hemp seeds, like, fair feckin' play, like, uh, that That probably cost you about, what, maybe about 50 quid or so to get a million hemp seeds. Um, just, just an idea is that anybody else out there who wants to try to get get out and uh, spread the seeds, like, I think it's like a kilo of seeds, like, uh, you get a kilo of seeds for probably about a tenner or something like that. A, a kilo of seeds is probably about a hundred thousand seeds or something like uh, so go mad um i i will do an update there again on friday guys i'll compile pictures that have been sent to me as well from other people from around the country um who are taking part in the overgrow the government campaign and the feed the birds campaign and uh, i've got some really good pictures oh excuse me um, there's some plants out there that are doing really well in some of the locations that uh, they've been planted and uh, I even got some nice ones there this morning um, where they were planted next to some fairy doors. Um, if you're out there, you know who you are, who sent them in. <laughs> um, nice job, guys. Well done, everybody, getting involved in this. Like, you're all legends. Like, it's, it's nice to see the community really growing out there and um, for these cannabis plants to be just popping up everywhere. Again, I hope the media start picking up in this and I hope it gets the conversation going in the media as to the kind of complete joke uh, that prohibition is that they're trying to make uh, nature illegal <laughs> silly like 